one, go. Hey guys, MegaMat1254 here again. Welcome back to another stream. And, uh, yeah, I know this is, this is different. <laughs> I haven't streamed a normal game in a very long time, guys. Been very busy on, uh, Survival of the Fittest. But, uh, I've actually wanted to make a quick announcement here before, uh, really talk about anything else is that uh well survival of the fittest season four is done guys the whole season is ready to be watched expect a trailer coming like very soon guys tonight is also the wasteland world season three finale <clears throat> and uh that's gonna be intense guys after the crazy cliffhanger of uh episode eight i'm really hyped to see what you guys think of uh 309 it's gonna be a blast i hope to see you all at the premiere and, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just, uh, get into, uh, whatever the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> Give me one second here, guys. I'm gonna post this stream into a few servers. Start getting somewhat of an audience here. second here, yeah. And that is that. Alright. But yeah, guys, the Wasteland finale is tonight, and, uh, it'll be actually around 7 o'clock, so, yeah. Get out of here, Gray. The stream will only be on for about hour and a half. And then uh, I gotta get the premiere set up. The synopsis is up now, though, guys. So if you want to see the synopsis, get like an early kind of like idea of what like things you can kind of expect from the finale. Go check it out, guys. The synopsis is up. The premiere is up. And uh, yeah, I really don't want you guys to miss this. All right. All right. You're dead. All right. Let's collect the talisman real quick. Thank you. All right, let's go. that Try that again. There we go. Stray off the beaten path here for a second. What's up, bud? Damn it. Did it go? Got 
gotcha, bud. <clears throat> you can pick up Don't care, don't talk to me. Alright, here we go. Dead. Go, bud. That's our first orb, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's move on to the home world. There we go. Boom. Alright. gonna skip the cutscenes cuz I don't really care <laughs> hey Dan welcome to the stream bro it's mostly just a chill stream like Basically, talk about anything really. Okay, skip that crap. There we go. Yeah, the stream will only be on for like an hour, and then uh, we'll uh, call around uh, six for Wasteland. Just thought I would, uh, since survival's done, I thought I would just kind of do something different for a change. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. I'm happy to say that World Gone Mad Season 2 is officially wrapped filming. So happy, lol. Oh, dude, that's freaking awesome, dude. So, like, the whole, like, half of 2A is done. That's great. Man, honestly, dude, like, once Season 2 airs in about a month, dude, man, I'm just counting down the days, honestly. I need to have some fun Tuesdays again. <laughs> If you want, I can start a party up and we can actually uh, talk in the party chat if you want or whatever. <clears throat> Tuesdays will be back to normal soon, but oh well. Oh, yeah, dude, honestly. Sure, I'll join in a sec. Alright, I'll start up a party. Give me one sec here, everyone. Okay, start something up. And we are up. 
Okay, for anyone who's watching the stream, let me know if y'all can still hear me, because I just started a uh, party chat up. Okay, no. Okay, jump. Nice. Okay, there we go. Good. <clears throat> hey, Dan. What's up, dude? Hey, just uh, streaming here. Cool. So, uh, World Gone Mad Season 2 is done filming. That's freaking amazing, dude. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, like the first half of the season. Uh, I'm gonna take now, which, I mean, yeah, like I divide it in two halves. So, now I'm gonna take a little break, probably for about a week or two. Uh, get all the, like, make sure everything's set in stone, and then start 2B. Friggin' right. Yep, because I just want to make sure all the writing is exactly what I want, and then, uh, once I kind of go over it all again, I'll be like, okay, let's start this. Awesome, dude. Yep. But, man, like, I've been seeing this everywhere, dude. Honestly, if this is true, I, I doubt it. But, like, legit, everywhere I'm going, everyone's like, yo, Morgan's dead in the finale. Morgan's been bit. Morgan's dead. Yeah, which, I'm gonna be honest, I think that is the most ridiculous, like, theory ever. I'm sorry, like, they're not gonna kill a Walking Dead character in the Fear finale. Plus, do you really think that freaking like, they're gonna just randomly have him die due to, like, Victor, like, kicking him into a bunch of walkers? Well, it'd also be dumb that he survived that, and then now it's just like, oh no, now he's dead though, like an episode after that. But it's so dumb that freaking like, I I'm just, I'm getting annoyed, right? Because it's like, okay, Fear Season 5, Morgan's gonna die. Now Fear Season 6, here we are again, Morgan's gonna die. Yep, I don't know, man. Uh, I honestly, I'm done with this whole Morgan thing. If they pull, like, another cliffhanger this year or something like they did last year, oh, I'm gonna flip, dude. Which I don't think they will, honestly. I think this is just fans kind of, like, speculating. Now, like, there's a really bad rumor I saw yesterday, too, after uh, we watched uh, 615. And that was, um, people are like, Morgan and Dwight are both dead in the finale. You know how stupid that would look? Like, listen, plus, here's the other thing. If they did that, hypothetically speaking, of course, like, if they did that, Alicia would be the lead. Like, nah, dude, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's also, like, a rumor that Alicia's getting killed off in the finale as well due to that scene in the promo where, like, Strand's, like, screaming at the end. I'm telling you, man, like, fans are bored because that's the main trio. You take out the main trio, who do you have? Like, June, Strand, Althea, like, dude, you don't got much to work with after that. Yeah, plus it's literally, like, already confirmed Morgan's in Fear Season 7. <laughs> I mean, which, yeah, I know, and, like, I know a lot of people are theorizing Strand's dead in the finale. That's another one I'm going to have to actually disagree with, because uh, I know Coleman has literally confirmed he was filming Season 7. Yeah, that's true, actually. Coleman's on set, and uh, for some reason, Wendell's been confirmed alive on Season 7. I'm like, okay, then. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know that one, but I'm not too surprised, though, I'll be honest. I, think, I mean, I'm fine with them developing his character, but, like, man, fear of their spoilers, though, man. Correct. I know. Well, now I'm not worried for Strand at all. Yep. Which, um, all y'all that are on the stream, if anyone here is, uh, listening, like, make sure you've seen, uh, 615, because, well, you know, we've already been saying some stuff. Yep. Man. Huh. <clears throat> But yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm just saying, the rumors this week, they've been out of control. Oh yeah, big time, dude. Like, I don't know, man. It's been ever since, uh, like, 6B has aired. They did the John thing. And then now it's like, people are just coming out with random theories. Like, dude, do you imagine an episode where they would kill Morgan, Dwight, and Alicia? Like, you, you might, that would be the Red Wedding of Fear of the Walking Dead, dude. That would be worse, in my opinion. It would be even more brutal. Well, that's what I mean, though. Like, they're not gonna do that, dude. Oh, heck no, they're not. Why Why would they? Why would they kill all three of them off? 
And the question I have, is Alicia even going to be in 616? Because, like, I'm willing to bet maybe she will in a minor way, but I honestly could see them just leaving her story, like, open-ended a bit till Season 7. Yeah. The question I have, though, is, um, what's that clip of Strand screaming in the finale promo? I know. Well, see, like, I don't know, though, because it's like... You know darn well, this is the other thing they've kind of let out, is that the characters return to the stadium. So I'm like, is it something related to that? Is he like, like sad and angry? Is it something like that? Or somebody like hurting him or something? You know what I think it could be? Because he looks like he's in like a kneeled down position. What if he finds the corpse of Madison? Well, that's what I mean, because I'm, I'm sorry. There is no way Madison's alive now. Like, look. Maybe a few weeks ago, I would have said, like, ah, uh, maybe she'll return as a villain. Dude, after all this, there, I would be actually, like, shell-shocked, like, if in a week from now we just saw her there. That's what I'm saying, though. Plus, I think that clip of Strand is him finding Madison, because Strand's the one at the stadium. I think David Alper, in my opinion, he wants to kind of put that story to rest, and he wants to make people stop thinking she's alive, and he's going to confirm it, in my opinion. Yeah, and then you're gonna have Strand that finds the body, and you're gonna have that scene where he's, like, freaking out at the end. Yeah, that really could, uh, push him over the edge, though, I think, so... Honestly, until I- until I think of something, like, maybe more possible, I feel like that's what they're gonna go for. Agreed. Gotta go mute for a sec here, guys. I'm back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Just had to uh, talk to someone real quick. Um, but yeah, the Fear Season 6 finale. Um, the only deaths, me personally, that I see, these are the deaths that I see, is Teddy, Dakota, and some minor, like, red shirts from our group, like Rabbi Jacob, Sarah, all them useless characters. How are you feeling about uh, Sherry? Sherry... Uh, I don't think she's going to die anymore. However, um, you know, honestly, I'm going to agree with you. And the only reason why, though, I would even agree with that, because actually beforehand I would have said she was dead. But the moment that told me, yeah, it's just a trailer, but the moment that told me she's going to survive is when she's looking at Dwight and she's like, uh, this is how I want to go out. I'm like, ah, bro, they're not going to kill her after that. Like, no. Not to mention, they're notice that they're kind of like trying to fold Sherry into like our main cast now. Like, she doesn't feel like an outsider too much no more. I actually like the twist to it though, personally, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's like they made us think they were adapting and remixing the comic story, and then now it's gonna take a bit. But I don't know if if they can do it, they can make her into a likable character in season seven. Then I'd say go for it, I guess. Exactly. But yeah, I don't think Sherry's gonna die. Um, I do think, uh, what's his face? Uh, John Sr. is going to be killing Teddy and Dakota, though, next episode. However, he himself, they need to d develop him more, so I don't think he's dead. Well, no. You know what? Uh, it's already basically confirmed he's not dying, because, uh, after JD, they confirmed he was a, uh, being brought on as a series regular. Exactly. Yeah, and honestly, like, they need him, especially if they're gonna kill, uh, well, I mean, Teddy and Dakota, they're going to do fine without him. Just saying, though, like, there's going to be some depth. So I feel like they need to... Honestly, I could see them, uh, yeah, like, putting them as, a, like, a series regular for Season 7. I think that's what they'll be doing. Yep. Um, other deaths, though. Like, actual main character deaths, I don't see them killing off any A-listers. I don't. No. No, not at all. Plus, uh, no, like, Morgan, Dwight... Uh, you know, Alicia, I don't even think Alicia's gonna be in it, though. Uh, Strand, and, like, I wish they'd kill Luciana, but they're not gonna do that, so. For me, I think Alicia will be in the finale. I think she'll be a post credit scene. Well, that's what I mean, though. Like, it's gonna be very minor, if at all. That's kind of what I'm thinking, just because, I don't know, I could really see them going a route where it's, like, she's locked up, and then you kind of have to wonder what they're gonna do with her next. Exactly.
man. Uh, also, have you heard the uh, the like rumors? I don't know if you've heard these or not. Uh, it's kind of been speculating or like a little bit. Is that in season seven we're gonna get an Alicia like bottle episode as like a prisoner? From what I've heard. Well, as long as it's not sitting in a bunker the whole episode, I'll be okay. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Cause and the only reason why I even bring that up is because it's like they're filming that season right now. So I'm like, okay, it's probably legit. I'm not gonna say it is, but like it does sound probably like something they do. But I'm like. Man, like you said, if that's the case, dude, it better not just be her sitting in there, maybe like hallucinating the whole episode or something. Like, right. Oh, man, it'd be fierce freaking version of Splinter. <laughs> Pretty much. But in my opinion, it'll be, um, she'll like get out and they'll do stuff with that character, in my opinion. Yeah. Thing is, though, is Teddy, it, like, let's be honest, Teddy's gonna be dead by this episode's air date. So it'll be Riley holding her hostage at that point. Man, can you imagine if like Riley, like she's like locked in there. Once Teddy's gone, maybe like Riley wants to like public publicly kill her in front of everyone or something, and then like someone comes in and saves the day. I don't know. It's just a thought I have right now. Yeah, agreed. I think, um, man, I'm just waiting for that scene where you have Teddy and Dakota watching the uh, missile like go off in the distance and then i think in that scene as they're watching the destruction it's gonna be beautifully shot i can see it. you see all the destruction you see the debris the explosion and then you see john senior pull up and he has his gun pointed at them and he's like it's the end of the line for you teddy agreed yep and uh i i love it dude honestly and like i also love how i have a feeling this finale the way it's gonna set up season seven is gonna feel like a very different show from what I've heard, and I actually kind of like the title of the finale why, and here, like, uh, the finale now, and here's why, is because, like, it's called The Beginning, which is, like, in my opinion, it's going to be the beginning of something very different, you know? It's also going to be the beginning of this, like, really getting into this new group of villains. That's what I mean. Like, it's the beginning of a very different chapter for the show. I think the whole Madison theory will be to rest, and I think, uh... I think they're going to really try to make the show feel different. I don't know why. I don't see Season 7 being the final season anymore, though. In my opinion, Season 7 feels like a penultimate to a final season now. No, I think, um, if anything, well, no, and also because the reason why I agree with you is that they would have said that by now. They would have been like, okay, final season airing this fall, you know? Yeah, which tells me that Season 8, I do think Season 8's the final season, though. And I think season seven will lead us into that last season. Yep. Which either the end is the beginning group will survive in early season eight, and then maybe they'll do CRM stuff for the rest of the final season. That's kind of what I could see them doing, but again, I don't know. We're either going to get the end is the beginning group killed off in seven B or early eight A with the CRM coming in, or this could be a really ballsy route. I don't know if they want to do this though is they might just keep the end as the beginning group going until the end of the show. Never know. And if you do them right, I'll be fine with it. But uh, that actually leads me to another question, though. What if, like, is Althea going to be in the finale? That's the other question I have. Yeah, I think she... Actually, I think she'll be the post credit scene, and it'll be her finding Isabel. That's what I mean. Maybe, um... The question is, though, does she take off with her? Or does, like, something else happen? And, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like... Is, is she gonna be like, my friends need help or something? And then, I don't know, I'm very just like torn on how that could go. Agreed. Man. Man. Um, however, Morgan in the finale, I don't think he's gonna be in it too much. Looking at stuff, what I think this finale is gonna focus on, in my opinion, these are gonna be the two major storylines, is uh, the ending of Teddy, uh, John Sr. finishing what he started, and uh, Victor at the stadium. Well, I think Morgan already had his big episode to conclude the season, if you ask me. That'd be 15. Uh, they already focused on him a lot, I feel like. And I think he'll be slightly involved. But like you said, I think it'll be mostly like Strand, Teddy, Dakota, John Sr. Uh, not even now. I'm not even going to say Riley. He's like barely in it from what it looks like. Yeah, which makes sense, though, because um, you'd want to focus on Teddy for his last episode. Agreed. But the fact that we know this is his last episode, though, it's pretty crappy. Yeah, I just wish that the actor would have kept it silent and that they wouldn't have used him as a guest star. Just put him on there 
and then when he dies, just take him off. Like, it's, I don't know, it's not that hard. Well, yeah, in 615, when we watched it yesterday, when I saw the uh, title crawl, and it was like special guest star John Glover, I'm like, oh, this dude's dead as fuck. We're still on 615, and this guy's still coming up as a guest star. I know, which, actually, I forget. Is, like, Riley, um, is he, like, just a main, like, star, or is he a guest star as well? Nah, he just comes up as Nick Stahl. Ah, Frig. Well, see, though, there you go. Like, I don't know. There's a perfect example of why he's going to sur uh, survive and Teddy isn't. Because uh, Riley doesn't come up as a guest star, just as starring. And then, like, down the line, you'll have special guest star John Glover. And then after that, it'll just say Nick Stahl. But it doesn't say guest star Nick Stahl. That's what I mean. I don't know, man. It's like, eh. I don't know. I'm kind of torn, to be honest. Because I'm like, like, I don't know. They better not kill Riley, which, in my opinion, they won't. I think they're just trying to hype up the possibility. Nah, they won't. Plus, they've got him as a prisoner. And, uh, you know Morgan's group isn't all for killing people, which is why I think Riley's honestly safe. That's what I'm saying. Because a lot of people are worried. I don't know why. I'm hearing this theory uh, as well, too. People are running around saying this one, too. Like, what if Morgan kills Riley as a prisoner? He walks out, he, like, grabs his axe or something, and then that theme song, like, picks up, and that's the end or something. I'd be like, bro, no. Like, they don't need to do that, man. Keep Riley. Um, that would contradict 615 completely. Because, uh, yeah, spoilers here, guys. Three, two, one... Morgan legit spares Riley at the end of 615, so why all of a sudden he's like, actually, you know what, no, I'm just gonna kill you now. Well, that's what I mean. There's literally people running around saying, like, that'll be Morgan's last kill of the season, that'll be the end, you'll have that music that picks up, and then, like, uh, like Morgan's theme slash World Gone Mad theme, as he walks out, he's just like, you know, gangsterish. I'm like, first of all, I don't even like that ending. Second of all, that would be a waste of a character. They're not gonna off him, trust. Yup, exactly. Well, no, like, and if they did, I'd be actually really questioning the finale at that point. So I'd be like, okay, so prediction-wise for Season 7, like, I'd be lost at that point, to be honest. Yeah. We still need a major villain, and you know Alicia's not getting out of that bunker in the finale. No. Oh, that's another thing. I'd be shocked if she did. Oh, yet, if we even see her, that's the other thing. Well, that's it, yeah. I think we'll see her very briefly. Agreed, man. Honestly, I don't know. The finale looks good, but I'm a little worried that they may, like, do one, like, mistake that could crumble other things. Yeah, the biggest mistake they could do, in my opinion, is offing Riley. Same. Yeah, that and, uh, well, also offing John Sr., because people think that's going to happen, too. I'm like, dude, no, man. Well, the theories have just been completely, like, the theories are out of control, man. They're just random, though. Like, I've heard theories in the time of the Walking Dead franchise. This is the most out there it's been, if you ask me. Oh, it's been ridiculous. Like, even Negan lineup theories. Like, even those were more on the smart side than this. Agreed. Man. But, uh, what, what was I saying? Um... <clears throat> yeah, the death theories this time around are just out of control. Uh, John Sr., Dwight, Morgan, Riley, Alicia. I'm like, bro, chill. Yep, I don't know, man. I just, I can't, the only ones I'm going to fall for at this point, Teddy and Dakota, and, uh, I mean, that's kind of it. I mean, it's, uh, unless you kill off, like, a few minor characters. Like, fan service for me would be the death of Sarah, but you know they're not going to do that. And Rabbi Jacob. Yeah, uh, I think I'd rather Sarah first than Rabbi Jacob. Like, if I had to pick one of the two, I'd pick Sarah. Agreed. Hey, Epic, welcome to stream, bro. We're discussing fear, so just be aware there is spoilers being discussed here. Yeah, this isn't our review, guys. We're just chatting. We're just shooting the shit. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, bro. Uh, we're just kind of discussing uh, Fear six, Season 6 finale spoilers right now. Well, not finale spoilers, like 615 spoilers. Yep, which, uh, just to let you know, I'm going to have to eat supper in about five minutes, so I'll only be on for a few more. All good. And uh, what time is it? 
Stream will only be on for another 40 here, guys. And then uh, I gotta go, because uh, tonight is Wasteland. Yes, sir. Which, that's gonna be freaking awesome. Yep. Oh, man, it all comes down to this, man. Season 3 finale. Frick. It's, I'm kind of trying to, like, adjust to the fact that it's like, dude, next week, like, frick, like, there isn't Wasteland. Like, I'm trying to process that. Yeah, well, next week, uh, what do we have next week? Uh, we have the Plague's Return and uh, Fear Finale. Yep, exactly. And then next Sunday, I'll finally be releasing the rewrites after, like, months and months, which, like, ah. I know a lot of people say, oh, Dan, you do, long, you do a long break for the rewrites. I'm like, ah, but it's only because I want to perfect it. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want it rushed. No. Nope. And I mean, like, honestly, like, I can say this now, like, you guys, uh, Matt has seen the first episode of the rewrites. I did give him uh, early access, and, uh, you know, from what I've heard, he can definitely be one to say this. Like, when you watch it, you know, like, ah, it kind of makes sense why it took so long because of all the stuff that's in there. Yeah. Man. Gotta check something real quick. Oh. Um, in about 10, guys, I'll have to cut the stream short. Uh, something just came up here, so I'll have to leave in about 10. All good. I have to leave in like a few more minutes, so actually, that's fine. Yeah. I wish I could stay on longer, but legit, something just like came up last minute. All good, man. Ah, it's cool to have a chill stream anyway, though. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, guys, uh, with these streams being back, the gaming streams are officially back, and, uh, they will be, uh, a lot more frequent. I can't promise one every day, obviously, because I still have a tight schedule and all that crap, but, uh, with, uh, survival being done editing, uh, I do have a lot more free time on my hands. Man, that's awesome. So your opinion, GTA 5 had a weak storyline. Ah, uh, it wasn't great. The game itself, though. Oh, the game's great, but the story's not that good, in my opinion. Also, the game now, I can say, is great for a show, too, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can make good storylines out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Frig. No, but in all seriousness, though, uh, friggin', without GTA 5, I always have to appreciate that game, because without GTA 5, there wouldn't be any survival of the fittest. Yep, there wouldn't be survival, there wouldn't be, I mean, plague, but I mean, you know, still in there, and, uh, and, you know, now Road Rats, too, so. Yeah, and, uh, Road Rats, um, as soon as I talk with Wasteland World Official more, I'll be able to deliver more updates on that to you guys, hopefully, uh, pretty soon. Sounds good. Well, you guys, uh, you guys know that, uh, I'll be definitely reviewing that, checking it out, so, I'm excited. Friggin' right. Man, which actually reminds me, I need to freaking edit my 401 review of survival. It's just been sitting there for days. I've been like, ah, I need to make some time for that. Yeah. Hey, Rowdy, welcome to the stream, bro. We're just uh, chilling out, discussing Walking Dead. Um, keep in mind, Rowdy, we are discussing 615 spoilers here, so I think you've seen it, though, but I'm just making sure. Oh, yeah, he's seen the episode, uh, but yeah, that's, we're just chilling. Yeah, we're just shooting the shit. By the way, The Walking Dead Season 10 DVD and Blu-ray is releasing next month on July 20th. Oh, that's crazy epic. Honestly, uh, I might get it just because I like the design of it. And it looks like a really, like, big, like, set of, like, DVDs. Well, you guys know I'm a completist, like, but it's not because I have to. I'm genuinely, like, excited, dude. Like, it's been two years since we've gotten a new Blu-ray. Yeah. Me, personally, I might get it. I'm not big into, like, completionist stuff, but, uh, from what I've heard, like, this one's supposed to be, like, nuts or something. Yeah. Price-wise, though, man, this one's gonna be a lot, I can guarantee it. Like, uh, I'm not a big DVD collector, so how much did the Blu-rays go, like, for the other seasons? Well, Canadian, uh, it usually it goes for around 50 to 60, but again, keep in mind, though, we got more episodes, so this one could be, like, way higher. Yeah. Just went out to the park and almost collapsed from the heat. Oh, heat wave or something. 
<laughs> Who said that? Uh, Rowdy. Damn, dude. I'm glad they went with the cover that Dan wanted. Oh yeah, the uh, with the cliff and all that. Yeah, it's a sick cover. Yep, I love it. Yeah, it's uh, it, honestly the best cover. The others are fine, I guess, but just I don't know. Some about the three of them standing there, the herd there, just describes the season so well, honestly. Agreed. Like any other cover, though. Like it just, I don't know. This beats any other potential cover they could have done. Man, it would have been cool if in the herd, though, you just see this absolutely tall walker, and then you look close enough, and you notice it's beta in there. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be cool. What should they do for Fear's box art? Uh, in my opinion, the 6B poster. Yep. Oh, yes, agreed. Um, either that or the Pass is Dead one, but you know darn well they're going to go with the 6B one. Which I think they should anyway, because you get Morgan, Alicia, and you get the end is the beginning teaser with the uh, walker in the middle. Definitely. Which I, I have to remind people, though, that the Pass is Dead poster, that's not an official, like, here. Yes, it is, like, at times, but that was originally intended to be a character portrait. But since uh, it was super popular with uh, the fans, they decided to go with it that's as a I key mean. art. Have yep. you seen 615, Matt? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, shockingly, I actually like the episode. Yeah, I know. A lot of people would uh, disagree with me on that one, but I actually like the episode. Yeah, we had to watch uh, a walk to the episode the other night, and um, yeah, Matt enjoyed it, which, like, I agree. It is a pretty good episode. It has its flaws for sure, but uh, there's honestly some moments in there that we like that I, we all know that a lot of people didn't. Yeah, like... Uh... <clears throat> I'll say this, did I like the scene that I'm about to mention? No, but is it in character? Yeah, it's the, the stuff with Strand and Morgan, <clears throat> it's in character for Strand to do that. Oh, it is, you can't deny it, which for me makes the scene pretty crazy though, because it's like, man, like you actually just show that it's like, the dude's not that different, like he's still a coward at the end of the day. The good thing is the fact that there's no Alicia. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Which, we may get lucky about that in the finale, too, but who knows. It was better than 614. Oh, there's no question on that. <laughs> Definitely better than 614. Oh, I'm going to be honest. 614, aside from uh, 608, is the worst episode of the season. Uh, I like it better than 610. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean... I could agree with that. The only thing about, though, is like 610, I don't know. There's still enough in there I like, personally. Yeah. Man. Mm. That Daniel storyline went nowhere, though. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Man. You remember when we thought someone was messing with Daniel to make him look bad? I'm like, man, why didn't they go with that storyline, though? Well, I don't care if that's even the story now it's so we're so past that now well yeah it's like imagine big reveal in the finale oh that was what was going on i'd be like wow you have to wait so darn long it's like bro there's legit been a uh, a nuke that just went off oh I, well, yeah there's a nuke that went off but no let's take a second to, to think about what daniel's like point of view is right now it's like bro who cares Freaking mosquitoes today are annoying. I'm going in my room right now. But frick. It's just crazy how many new players Reignited Trilogy brought on the Spiral Train. Oh, yeah, I agreed. It was a good uh, resurrection for a long dead character. Yep. Cool if I join the voice chat. Um, yeah, we'll only be on for like 20 minutes, though. It's gonna be minor. Oh, and, um,. Wasteland of world officials here. Awesome. What's up, Wasteland? What's up, dude? Hey, guys! Uh, I'm live right now, just so you know. Oh, I know. How's it going, people? So, yeah, guys, the stream will only be on for about 20 more minutes, and uh, we're kind of in, like, a private party right now. Agreed. Mosquitoes suck, Dan. Oh, yeah, mosquitoes are awful. 
<laughs> Man, I like killed three of them today. Like, I know you think Spyro is now a cult classic. But this game makes him iconic again. Oh yeah, agreed, bro. Um, we're just talking about six fifteen right now, kid. Mhm. Mm uh, I don't know. If, oh yeah, we didn't really get to discuss it yet. So, um, me personally, I liked the episode, and uh, I know what Strand did was really screwed up, but like. It's in character for Strand to do that shit. Yep. It's, uh, it, it definitely is in character. That's why I don't hate the scene, personally. I don't know. It's like, if it was out of character and he was like, Morgan, you must live, I'd be like, okay, then that'd be kind of weird. But, like, him doing that, it's crappy, but like you said, it's in character. <laughs> yep. Which, uh, I have a feeling... Strand is going to be getting punished at the community when he gets back. Agreed. Oh, yeah, there's no way that can go unnoticed. Like, nah. Especially after everyone just heard that. <laughs> Dakota legit exposed freaking Strand, bruh. It kind of made me laugh. It was supposed to be a sad scene, but when Grace was like, huh? Like, she gets all worried when she hears that Morgan got killed. She's like, Ooh. Like, I don't know. That part was funny. I'm just like, yeah, nice try, writers. It's like, it's like Karen David, fine, she's a great actress, but like, she went a little overboard on that, if you ask me, she's like, ooh, like, I'm like, okay, chill out. I'm like, he's fine, relax. <laughs> well, because you see him in the teaser, the, uh, see her in the teaser, the finale, like, hugging him, which I'm like, okay, that's cool, but man, she like, really freaked out there. Yep. Freaking Strand, though, dude, like, I'm like, man, screw this, dude. Yep. <laughs> My goodness, man. Dakota is a sociopath. Yep. Eh, psycho, too. I'll be unboxing The Walking Dead World Beyond Season 1 DVD this month. Ah, cool, dude. Yep, unfortunately, I can say the same, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Dan, honestly, bro, um, that campfire's waiting for the uh, World Beyond DVD, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, I might just buy one and do that as well. We'll like make a big showrunner community bonfire or something. Yeah, well I'll just like throw it in the fire like one, two, three, go. <laughs> and then roast some marshmallows. At least I got some good firewood out of my money. Yeah, no, oh, exactly. Well, buying the firewood itself is more like beneficial than buying the Blu-ray. Exactly. Hey, we're having a nice big walking dead bonfire. Who wants to join? <laughs> All you need is a World Beyond and a few logs of wood. Yep, you just need a copy of Walking Dead World Beyond, DVD or Blu-ray, your pick. Uh, some marshmallows, some s'mores, and uh, yeah, some firewood and you're good to go. There you go, and then you can have some marshmallows when you're done. Yep. Nah, uh, for real though. Oh, man, I would love to do that though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I might just do it though, honestly. I mean, why not? I can't promise I won't rant in that review, though. <laughs> oh, Lord. Friggin' World Beyond Blu-ray. Has the special features been revealed yet? There's, like, practically nothing, dude. It's only, like, audio commentaries and, like... I legit think that's it, too, bro. There's just audio commentary. Yep, you got it. Which, usually Walking Dead has a bunch of special features, but, uh, Season 10, Matt? Like, there's only literally that, like, three features. On season 10. Yep. What? Rumor has it is because there's so many episodes that that's why they couldn't include a bunch of like features this year. I'm like, frig off, man. That's just lazy AMC back at it again. It's like those season eight days where it's like, there's barely anything on there. I'm sorry, dude. Do I love Walking Dead? Yes, but AMC is a network or trash. I'm sorry. Like, HBO smokes AMC as a network. And I hate how people say HBO ruined Game of Thrones. I'm like, no, the writers rushed and ruined Game of Thrones, not HBO. Uh, yeah, take your complaints to D&D, &D, guys, not HBO. Nah, HBO has good quality TV, in my opinion, so. Which, uh, man, I cannot wait to watch The Wire, though, man. That is going to be a blast to see, like, their first big hit show. Yep, so if anybody's seen The Wire, no spoilers, please. 
Yeah, please, no spoilers. Uh, me and uh, a couple of the guys here, we're going in blind on that show pretty soon. Yeah, once uh, Game of Thrones is done. Which, also, keep in mind, guys, no spoilers from, like, let's say season season four and onward. Let's say that. Game of Thrones season eight is beautiful visually. Well, that I can agree. I've seen trailers. I mean, it looks good. But from what I've heard, the story is literally, like, atrocious. What is The Wire about? I don't really know. I know it's a cop show, and they're, like, trying to take down a uh, drug trafficking ring or something. Yep. Which, that's all I really know, guys. Keep in mind, if you guys have seen The Wire, please do not speak spoilers in the chat. Everyone here has not seen The Wire yet. Yep. Like, I always say, The Walking Dead would have been better on HBO. Would have had a better budget as well. I agree, it should have been on HBO. Huh. Also less filler, because you know HBO doesn't do that many, like, 16-episode seasons. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, but I don't think they do many 16-episode seasons. No, The Wire does 12, I think, a season. Which I think that's a good number. I always like 12. That always sounds good for, a, like, season number, because it's like, I don't know, like, it's just, it's not too much, but it's enough, you know? Agreed. Whereas, uh, 16, I'm sorry, that's excessive. Yep. The, the furthest I feel like anyone should go is 13 episodes, but even that, like, I don't know, that's questionable at times. I don't know, man, but freaking like, what's it called, uh, 16 episodes, seasons are just, they're, I don't know, they're risky, and the fact that The Walking Dead's, like, stuck doing those now, well, now it's even more crazy, now it's, like, 24 episode seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what, dude, they should have just done season 11, the regular number season, and then in my opinion, they should have done a callback to season 1 and have a 12th season of 6 episodes. I just, I think that'd be a cool, like, kind of like, I don't know, full circle type thing. Fun little, uh, cap off. Yeah, 6 episodes of the 12th season, just like your first season, and like, man, it'd help out if Rick was there, but anyway. Well, that's the thing with the final season of The Walking Dead. Am I excited? Yeah, but, uh, um, yeah. Where's Rick? Now, if they said Rick Grimes reprises his role, I'd be like, okay, I need this season now, bud. I'd be like, yeah, like, bring it on now, but, um, yeah, Rick ain't there, is he? No, and not even, like, I know this one's not as important, but it's still worth mentioning. Like, yeah, Michonne's not there either, so, like, what the frick? That's stupid right there. No Michonne, no Rick, no Morgan, no Dwight. Like, oh my lord. Well, for Dwight's safety, it's fine. But yeah, the other three, I don't get it. Well, yeah, Dwight, uh, let's just keep him away from the Commonwealth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, it's infectious. I'm worried shitless for season 11. I wouldn't say I'm that worried, but uh, I'm nervous. But I'm not, like, worried like that bad. The Neil Druckmann rumor I don't think is going to happen now anymore. I haven't heard anything new upon it. They need to speak on it if it's not true or if it is, though. That's the thing. Yeah, true enough. It still could be real, but, like, confirm it already. Man. Um, Alright, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to go eat supper, but um, I'll uh, join you for uh, Wasteland later the tonight. Matt. Yeah, we'll cut the stream off in about 10 to 20. Sounds good. Uh, well, uh, for all y'all watching the stream, uh, it was fun being here, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Ciao, Dan. He's still there, Wasteland. What's up? What's up, bro? Just got some headphones in. Listening, listening to these people on my Ah, uh, nice. What did you think of 6.15? Um, it was a pretty good episode. I liked it. It's just that there's some dumb character decisions. Like, uh, oh my lord, uh, what was, like, the bit, the worst one? Oh, the plot armor. Rick and Morgan saying, like, oh, go, Teddy. When he let Teddy go, I remember I was legit freaking out, dude. Freaking Morgan just like, oh, uh, Teddy, uh, yeah, leave. Even though he just freaking fired a nuclear warhead into the freaking air. This is, um, actually, like, I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but honestly, Morgan's not the worst character in that scene. In my opinion, it's Victor. Victor's known for turning on people and killing them, and even he lets Teddy and Riley leave. Yep. Exactly. I'm like, that's so Morgan out of character for Victor, dude. 
Like, let's be honest here. For Morgan, ain't completely out of character. Let's be real here. No, Morgan does that kind of crap, but for Victor to do that? Oh my lord. Like, he tries to kill Morgan, but then Teddy and Riley get a pass. Yep. Oh. The Wasteland uh, Season 3 finale is up on uh, Premiere now. Cool beans. That's all the, uh, whatever, uh, synopses. Yeah, synopsis sauce. Yeah, so uh, we'll join like a private call and uh, once Dan's back, we'll cut the stream or whatever. Cool. So what time is it now? Seven. Seven. The usual time. Pop it up a bit on my Instagram. Yeah, I'd say like hype it up everywhere you can because it is the finale. Yep. Do you think Dakota was right to shoot Strand? Um, I'd say they're both honestly complete douchebags, so honestly, like, they can both die for all I care. <laughs> um, Matt, when's the next stream, bro? Not sure, Epic. Still kind of got to plan it out, because I still do have to, uh, work on a lot of stuff. But, uh, yeah, the gaming streams will be back more frequently, but, uh, can't really schedule them just yet. The finale is here. Oh yeah, Rowdy. Um, have you seen Wasteland Season 3? Because if you haven't, I don't want to discuss spoilers here. Honestly, I wouldn't care if Alicia died now. I would not... No, I don't know if I would care. I would be a little annoyed though, because then you'd just be erasing another Season 1 or off the show. In 614, she was just meh. Agreed. Who's your favorite Family Guy character? Uh, Brian. Okay, you're dead. Thank you. There we go. Oh, what you been up to today? Me? Yeah. Just <clears throat> been cleaning out. Uh, got rid of our friggin' grill. So that's all I've been doing today. Nice. Hi, Spider. A bit zonker, but... Oh, man, yeah, I guess. <laughs> man, I'm just hyped to see how the Wasteland finale comes out. See all the people that are gonna see it. Yep. This one, you guys won't want to miss. Oh yeah, this one's a major episode. Yeah, you need to watch it, guys. You're forced to watch. I'm joking, forced Must to watch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wanna see, uh, if you wanna see some cool stories, and if you guys have seen the penultimate, see that. You know. How that is gonna go down. But yeah, keep in mind guys, if you haven't seen the full season yet, I would catch up and watch all the episodes first. Operation Broadway being fully initiated was most Alright, cool. I was there for filming so I can confirm. Yep, this is actually uh, Rowdy's uh, debut episode of doing something on Wasteland. It's pretty cool. Frack! Right. Dang it! What's up, man? Crap! Ah! <laughs> Darn it! What are you doing? Ah, I'll freak it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do here. Oh my gosh! Dang it! Crap! Oh, it's like a freaking GTA freaking. <laughs> hey, you sound like a freaking GTA NPC right now, dude. <laughs> Dang it! You stupid prick. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up! <laughs> oh, Lord. You prick! Ah! Ah! Alright, time <laughs> to fight the boss. Alright, let's see. Oh my gosh, what you doing? Bleed up. Actually, no, don't. 
Thank you for being free. Hey Matt, is Brian Griffin an icon? Yeah, I think he is personally. An icon? Who's Brian Griffin? Uh, Family Guy. Oh. Is he the dog? Yeah, he's the talking dog. Modern Family Guy is so bad. Well, let's be honest, any classic show that's still running now, I mean, most of them are all out of ideas. Out of ideas. But bruh, freaking Simpsons though, running for like 30 seasons. Oh my lord. Frick. The fact that they're probably gonna make it to 40 seasons though. South oh. Park is actually still good. I wouldn't know, I haven't watched it. South Park, I've like seen like one season of that show, so it was okay, I guess. I don't know. Imagine Walking Dead being 30 seasons. Well, that was friggin' Gimple's plan. Yep. The iceberg tactic or the mountain or whatever. Yeah, freaking mountain tactic, like. Oh lord, I don't even want to go over it. The first 10 seasons is just the climb, bruh. It's just the bottom of the freaking mountain, and the middle of the mountain is freaking 11 through 20, and 21 through uh, 30 is freaking the top. Oh lord. And then where are you even at at that point when you're at 30 seasons? Like, you're gonna have no original cast by those points. Ah, man. So I gotta make, I gotta make a new one. The, what? What? No way. Here, I'll send it to you. Hey Matt, did you have any side effects from your vaccine? Uh, barely any, just muscle spasms and stuff. Yeah, just you just turned into a freaking radiated zombie. That's, that's about crazy. it, yeah. Look at this. Like, yeah, I've been a Family Guy fan my whole life. The reason it's gotten bad is franchise fatigue. Exactly. They just need to let. They just need to let it end. What the heck is fatigue? Fatigue's when you're like tired, basically. Oh. I have a rash and a bit of pain, but that's it. Nah, it's probably nothing, Rowdy. That rash just probably has nothing to do with it, to be honest with you, bro. I think that rash is probably just a rash. That's uh, a bit ir irrational. <laughs> hang on. I just seen uh, your post here. Ah, oh, you're posting some uh, finale promo stuff. Awesome. Two images, nothing to drive home over. Oh, but still some. there. Just be, just be there. You'd be like, oh hey, by the way. No. <sighs> I had a sore arm. Yeah. Well, it seems like mostly everyone here is vaccinated then. Breaking his group. Kegra is being dead as roamers and workers. I know. Oh okay. my gosh. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. Stupid picture. Well, you. you. Oh my lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> This dude is stupid. Send it to him. What the frick? Send it to you through Discord. Alright, let's check it out real quick. Your files are too powerful. I'm sure they are. 
Discord Nitro can kiss my ass, bro. Yep. Hey, Matt, would you be down to do a Left 4 Dead stream sometime? Yeah, I would just have to uh, set it up on my PC. Let's just send it to you. Alright, give me one sec here, guys. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> That's horrible, dude. That's me. Is that you? Yep. Holy crap, what the freak? I'm joking, that's not me. <laughs> I was about to say, like, what? <laughs> Look, can you see my new deep profile picture? Oh lord, yeah. One second, we're back. Something's burning, I gotta check it out. Alright, bro. <laughs> I don't know if Kate has the game. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll ask him when he gets back. And Matt, back in 2013 when Brian died in Family Guy, I was very angry and sad. Yeah, um, he, yeah, they brought him back though, so I guess, like, that's, like, not really much anymore. really good show was Futurama. Oh, dude, Futurama was the shit, dude. That was a good show right there. And, uh, the good thing about that show is that it knew when to end. They didn't milk it. I also loved regular show. Never seen it. I'm back. Yo. Hey Matt, I didn't want to alarm you or anything, but um, on your um, YouTube it says you're live. Oh yeah, um, I, I I I figured. Oh wow, I figured as much. Hey Epic. Futurama is a masterpiece. Oh yeah, I agree with you, Rowdy, 100%. That was a freaking amazing show for its time. I like it. Oh, Apparently... it's a masterpiece though. Apparently, Family Guy's made it to its 20th season. Oh my god. It's like, there's a certain time where you just gotta put the friggin' body out the friggin' field. Twenty seasons of Family Guy. Well, I mean, 30 seasons of Simpsons. I mean, ugh. You know Grey's Anatomy's going on to its 16th season soon, apparently? Really? Which it's like, okay then. <laughs> oh. Seasons 1 through 5 were the best. Uh, yeah, I agreed. The OG seasons were awesome. Hey Matt, I'm not a fan of The Simpsons. Yeah, it's whatever for me personally. It's not my type of humor, I guess. Simpsons, no. I can't appreciate what it did for TV, though. Man, yep. I get it's a kid's show, but 50 seasons of Sesame Street. There's 50 seasons of Sesame Street? <laughs> oh my god. That is excessive, dude. Cookie Monster is one of my favorite characters of all time. And it's an icon. <laughs> yep, I bet. Um. What was I gonna say? Yeah, 50 seasons, that's a bit much. Technically, the oldest surviving show, it doesn't, it's not ranked seasonally, I don't think, but it technically is the oldest show around, I think, is Looney Tunes. Yeah, also that, and, um, um, it's like this soap opera. 
I can't remember its name. Um, it's been going around since the 1960s, and it's like on season, I freaking, I don't know how many, um, what is that one called? Um, Thanks for helping me light the lake. Majority of the actors, like, well, some of the actors are still on there, some of them are died, but, wait, what's this called? What do I think about the iCarly reboot? Uh, cash grab. Yup, that's all it is. And all it is... Also, it's to force your stupid agenda into your stupid bullcrap. But the, this is the thing, right? The reason it's been reboot is because of the cash grab, honestly. It's like, that's the thing, though, is they like to market on nostalgia nowadays. Like, they try to remake, like, everything, in my opinion. It's freaking stupid. Like, freaking Patrick from Spongebob's getting a freaking is getting his own show. I'm like, bro, he's really? literally a prominent character on the on Spongebob. Like, I'm just saying, like, you see what they're doing, though? Yep. Cash grab. That's, how, that's why they're making all these stupid live-action makes. Like, crap. Like the live-action Disney movies? That's, yeah. Horrible. iCarly was the shit, the original. Yeah, it was pretty good. I'm more of a Drake and Josh guy personally, though. Hands down. Sam and Cat was world beyond tier bad, though. Oh yeah, that was that, bad. That, that, that was a Frankenstein's monster, dude. What was that trash character that they put on there? Like that freaking like curly headed mother trucker? I don't even know. I hated that kid. I, I can't. I can't remember what his name was, but. That was Family Guy. Season 13 episode, Simpsons Guy. A ton of people hate that crossover. Yeah, uh, that crossover was, it, it was whatever in my opinion. Pull out the pitchforks. I've never seen Drake and Josh. Ah, it's all good, bro, honestly. I mean, if you ever get the time, I'd definitely recommend. Yeah, it's a good show. I mean, like, it... For me, like, it just really just takes me back to my childhood. And, oh, yeah, it's nostalgic. Like, that's why I still watch it. It's just, like, it's a classic freaking show. Oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, have you ever seen the show Zoe 101? No. I know, it sounds a bit girlish, but it's actually, like, really good. <laughs> eh. I'd say the most nostalgic show for me. Honestly, this is the most nostalgic point of a TV show for me. Is uh, what? Walking Dead 6B? 6B? Yeah, that's that's installed. I don't know why. There's just something about like that area there that it's just like very freaking nostalgic. Like building up to Negan, uh, the Saviors. Like I don't know. There's something there. Yep. And you know, like my first episode watching like live with everyone being uh, No Way Out. And yeah, that's that's a good episode to get like caught up on. Dan's was uh, 30 days without an accident or whatever. I'm like, oh, I feel bad for Dan, dude. Mine was 18 miles out. That's a freaking awesome episode too. Yep. I remember seeing it getting promoted on TV. I was like, I wasn't that big in the zombies at the time. But my friend uh, Jeremiah brought me in, got me into it. He's like, yo, you need to check out the show. True. I walk. Called uh, Breaking Bad, it, uh, well, no, I mean uh, Walking Dead, but um, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I've seen that being promoted and stuff, and then I've seen people talk about it, and it was like, it was like, yo, I got the season one Blu-ray right here if you wanna check it out, give it a shot. I was like, eh, yeah, sure. So like, I, I got it. And I was just sitting on my my uh, on my um, shelf for like a good few months, and I saw that season two like was just like on episode seven at the time. So I just decided just to freaking um, binge watch through it, and yeah, and then I and then I waited, um, like in the mid season break of season two, like they were doing the marathon and stuff, and that's how I got caught up on season two. Nice. My first live episode was the well. Oh wow, you're like a uh, you joined in during season seven. But who who's that? Rowdy. 
Oh, wow. Hey, everyone's got to start somewhere. It's the noches. I need to it's get my brother back on Fear the Walking Dead. He, like, dropped off after Season 5 and he won't touch 6. <laughs> I need anybody you know. Yep. Lots to name names. Like, yeah, I'm a big Brian fan. I have two plushes of him and a Funko Pop of him. Oh, that's cool, dude. I didn't know that Ron and Keen made him a Funko Pop. <laughs> you guys know where you can get, like, Ron and Keen plushes and stuff at? Nah. Uh, my brother hasn't seen, uh, Season 6 yet. He, like, refuses to touch it, basically. Man. Can't say I blame him. I mean, well, I think not but coming off of season five. Showrunner community plush toys. <laughs> well, there's already some Funko Bobs in the making, so who knows? Maybe one day we'll open up a merch store. <laughs> I know for a fact that there's one. Of, there's a Funko of Matt, me, Dan. Uh, Mickey Epic and Giuseppe and Mickey, yeah. Those are the like few that I know is well currently trying to be made. So that's kind of stuff. I don't know why, but my mom loved the Alicia painting trees thing because she's a painter too. Oh that's cool. You said that? Uh rowdy. What, what does she paint? Like, um, artwork, or like walls, or murals, or just paints on the free time, or what? I've made humanity Funko Pops, but it's so limited. Yeah. My mom just does basic painting. Ah, oh, that's cool, Rowdy. Awesome. Yeah, I've heard that's like a really good like stress relief technique. You know. By the way, thanks who made that Funko Pop of me, much appreciated. Yeah, Wasteland uh, made it epic. Yep. There's one. Yeah, there's several of them. Yep. We're trying to do everyone in the community. My stress relief is writing. Oh yeah, same here on my end. My stress relief is um, blowing a fart. That's great. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> no, but mine is probably writing too. Also that or um, doing like RPs, like uh, acting practice. Speaking of what, you down to do one tonight? I mean, yeah. We got nothing else to do tonight, really. Same. I'll DM uh, Mick, see if he wants to help us with it. Full beans. See if we can get some people on. Did I think you do Brian some... yet? Uh, I don't think we've done Brian yet. Nope. There's also one. Yeah, there's one of um. Okay, so I'm really trying to think of the ones I've done. Okay, so there's Matt, Mickey, Dan, Giuseppe, Epic, and I feel like there's. Who else did I make? Oh, there's another Mickey variant. Um, in the maiden, so it's like a T-shirt. Yeah. The ones we still have to do are um, Brian and Rowdy. Yeah, uh, I just need to get Rowdy's facial features right. Like I've tried to do Rowdy like several times, and I, I can't get his facial features like the exact same like I wanted to. Thinking of doing a humanity anthology series one day, it would be like Tales of the Walking Dead, except uh, very episode is its own unique. Oh. Cool, dude. If you do it on like GTA or something, that would help it out. Yep. Wasteland's already got one. An anthology series. Yeah, and I guess survival kind of does with Road Rats, but I look at that more of its own like story. It's just, it's basically um, Road Rats. Like, if you guys are interested, basically showing the world from a different perspective. 
Yeah, GTA is actually the plan. Oh, honestly, Rowdy, um, I know this is like a shot in the dark here, but like, this is just my opinion, like showrunner to showrunner. I would say reboot humanity and do that on GTA, dude. Get your main show on there and tell like a like crazy story, like, and you can actually like, you know, see the characters and stuff. That's just my opinion, though. I don't feel forced to do it or anything. In my head. My head. The bees! Oh, not the bees! Oh, yes. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> oh, please, no. Not the bees! Not the bees! I'm sorry, but, like... The charm with that actor is that he's freaking sucks at acting and he knows it. Yeah, and it's like become like a comedic goal mod. It's awesome. Honestly, I feel like if he could act, like if he wanted to act, he could act. I'd love to bring in writers. So like, I would like you to write an episode. Oh yeah, I'd be down to help you write an episode, Rowdy. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey Dad. Whoa. Hey, just scared the crap out of me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Dan's right. just like, ah! <laughs> like, Rick. <laughs> Rick and hack this. <laughs> Dan just comes in like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, whoa! Okay, bud. Alright, let me just check the time here. Uh, we'll be live for another 10, guys. Then uh, I'm gonna call the stream off here and we're gonna start getting ready for Wasteland. Yep. Sounds good. <sighs> Ah, uh, I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, and um, if you guys are interested, um, stay tuned for a talking about the wasteland. Um, uh, probably going to come around uh, uh, about thirty minutes after the episode ends. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, you're um, streaming so that on uh, your channel, right? Or are we streaming it here? On my, yeah. On my channel, but on if you also channel, want to stream yeah. on your channel, you, you can if you want to. Like, I don't, it honestly don't matter to me. Well, I was gonna say it's better if we do it on your channel, so you can kind of bring some uh, like viewers over there. Exactly. So, guys, talking about the wasteland is on wasteland world uh, is on wasteland world of, uh, official 03. If you just type that into the code and I mean into the uh, search bar, and you guys will see that. And yeah, should be some some good stuff, guys. For anyone here from the community, I'll leave you the link to the channel once the stream is done here. It'll probably start around eight o'clock, so um, if you guys want to, if you guys want to be there, you can. Um, I know for a fact Matt will be there, and um, and I've asked Dan if he wanted to be there. I don't, I don't. Uh, like, will you be there, Dan? Of course, man. Okay, cool. And so we got, so we got Dan and Matt already joining. So, and we'll, um, we'll have a chat with some other other cat, other cast, see what they want to say and if they want to join and. They want to. That's cool. And yeah. See if we can get like uh, Mick and Dom on and all that. Yep. Kind of going through some, and I will be revealing a lot of stuff about. Well, not a lot of stuff, but you know, just some basic ideas about season four, um, the key art for season four, and also um, going to be doing some. Um, going to be doing some stuff like, you know, like some Q and A's and like uh, you know some like making of some behind the scenes and yeah so um should be fun guys if you guys are wasteland world fans and you guys want to join the chat and stuff do what you want that'd be awesome yeah rowdy's asking if uh he can join the wasteland talk i mean like i mean like what like sure like it'll be in a um probably in a private in a private chat so i don't know i just added to or um create a new one I'm hoping Spiral 4 gets announced City 3 this year. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, let's see here. It depends on if, like, okay, so overall, like, all, I only want to keep about four people per stream, so if Mickey ain't able to join, or uh, Dom, then uh, I'll definitely, yeah. Uh... Grab Rowdy. Yep. Cool. In your guys' opinion, is Borderlands 3 bad? No, the story is, but not the game. 
I never played it, so I wouldn't. I'm gonna play the the sec. I've seen. I've, I haven't played all of it, but I've played some of the Sega one. The one with Handsome Jack. I I guess it's good. What it is? What it is? Which, uh, honestly, if you told me, I wouldn't know really. Hey Dan, what is it that you don't like about Family Guy? Uh, just not really been a series that I've been able to get into personally, and uh, I don't know. I it's also a part of just me not making time for it. But uh, I don't know, man. Certain seasons just aren't doing it for me. Well, the new seasons, yeah. <laughs> it's well, yeah, exactly. Like I don't know. I just I don't. I'm not interested. I guess I don't. I don't think it's terrible. I just I don't know. I don't care for it. Like I don't. Gotcha. I'm not a big fan of like the cartoon funny stuff. I don't really think it's all that great. <laughs> Me neither. And, uh, sir, I mean, honestly, there's, like, selected cartoon shows that actually work, but a lot of them flop, let's be honest here. Exactly. The villains of Borderlands 3 are, like, the group in Fear Season 5. Which group? Uh, probably the Pioneers with the vlogging war he just said. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the Borderlands 3 villains are, uh, uh, yeah, there's something. Well, are they like twins or something like that? Yeah. Like, what do they do? I, don't I really honestly don't really know. I don't. I haven't played fully through. No. The twins. There's not been a better like duo, like well, like you know, twin villains than in uh, Breaking Bad. Agreed. Fargo like those, has a good duo as well. Like, those are some, like, like, oh man, kick butt savagery. Honestly, wish they lasted longer. <laughs> exactly. Like, in Better Call Saul, when they, well, for anybody that hasn't seen Better Call Saul, if you want any spoilers, then I'm just gonna say a few things. Um, especially when they take down the Espinosa outpost, you know what I'm talking about, Matt? Yeah, it's like early season four stuff. Yeah, like, they just, them two on their own is like, what the heck? So, yeah. It's, it's honestly, uh, I don't know. I'm just reading some of the chat off here. Main villain in GTA 5 is a rich guy in GTA 4, it's mob bosses. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to go to, like, the main, main villains of the games, then GTA 5's is honestly complete crap, and GTA 4's main villain is actually really intimidating. Yeah. Devin Weston. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Just forgettable. Well, he's an idiot. He's just a rich guy. He's not scary at all, either. He's literally laughable. GTA 5 is an amazing game, but its story is so weak. Like I said, guys, um, GTA 5 as a game, I freaking, I love it. It's just the story sucks, but I'm just like, I always say, I have to appreciate GTA 5 because I wouldn't be able to, like, you know, do survival without it. GTA 5 is good for, like, uh, like you said, shows. Or if you're just bored one day and you want to just, you know, do random crap, then it's good. But if you're, like, actually into it for the story, eh, you, you'd be a little disappointed. It's not shit, but it's just, compared to GTA 4's story, that it fails, in my opinion. Yep. yep. But the game itself is better, though. That's, that's the weird thing. Like, they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. Yep. What they did with Johnny is absolutely terrible. Yeah, one of the most disrespectful deaths in entertainment, period. Yep. Honestly, yep. I would say it's just as bad as John Dory's death. Man. Ah, gives it a run for its money, I'd say. You literally have, like, this main character that, like, people love from an older GTA game, and then, like, the opening scene of Trevor's introduction in GTA 5, he just gets freaking stepped on by Trevor, he just steps on his head a bunch of time and kills him. Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that actually is true, because at least with Fear, like, they went nice with John. Like, yeah, it was terrible, but at least they didn't, like, start the episode off with that. Yeah. 
Not to mention, uh, he wasn't, like, insulted a bunch of times as he was dying. He's legit stepping on his head. He's like, you fucking piece of shit! Fucking bitch! The thing is, though, what character are, like, would you say you're more connected to, though? That's, that's when the answer comes in, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, that's actually a tough one for me, because, uh, Johnny from GTA Lost and Damned is a character that, like, I've, like, you know, I've known GTA series for, like, such a long time now. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, here's the thing, right? It, it's, yeah, like, Trevor, like, do I like him? Yeah, but when he did that, I lost a lot of respect for that character. Huh, understandably, too. But I will say one thing, though, Steven Ogman, he freaking owned it as Trevor. He owned that role. Yep. Man. Yeah, that guy nails everything he's in. Yep. That's why when he died in uh, Walking Dead as Simon, I was like, yeah, Simon's a piece of crap and he deserved it. But damn it, we lost Steven Ogg. Yeah. Steven OG. Well, so I didn't even find this out till like a couple of like years back, but he, I didn't even know he was actually he's actually Canadian. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, he's Canadian, just like us, which is uh pretty insane actually, because uh I'll be honest, like without finding that out, I would have definitely guessed he was born in the U.S. I thought he was. Yep. They should cast Ned Luke on The Walking Dead. Oh, I could see a bunch of roles he would be good in, actually, now that I think about it. Franklin will always be my favorite protagonist out of the three in GTA 5. Agreed. He's the most level-headed. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Michael is so generic. I don't hate Michael personally, I just, I don't know, he's whatever, I guess. Eh, I don't hate the guy, to be honest. Um, what, what would you say is better, though, Michael or Trevor? Uh, in terms of a character, probably Michael, just because Trevor can honestly, like, right get on my nerves at times. Well, the dude can be a bit, uh, what's the right word? I'll just say, like, sometimes he's out of control. Well, he's nuts. Yep. Nico will always be my favorite GTA, or yeah, my favorite GTA protagonist. Oh yeah, no, 100% agreed. Nico, honestly, that character, man, holy crap, the story he goes through. Oh, it's stretched. His car, the Bravado Buffalo, is amazing. Love his car. Oh yeah. He has the best car out of the three characters. The only character that beats Nico, in my opinion, is Arthur Morgan. Uh, for me, I don't know. I'd have to think on that one. Me, personally, if I'm comparing the Red Dead characters, now that you brought, like, Arthur Morgan up, I would have to say I prefer John Marston over uh, Arthur. It's no disrespect to Arthur, though, I just prefer John. I don't know who I prefer. GTA Online is overrated, in my opinion. Um, in terms of a game, yes, but I don't hate it, because, like, I've had a lot of fun on there with, like, my friends and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Socialize, uh, good. Game-wise, if they brought back Nico in GTA 6 and killed him, I'd cry because I'm emotionally attached to Nico. Oh, they'll never bring him back. The uh, Rockstar and the actor are on, like, disgustingly bad terms. He's legit said he wouldn't come back, like, even if they, like, begged him.
Which is honestly a good thing in my opinion, because Rockstar seems to have this like disrespectful ass attitude towards their old characters. <laughs> Well, not in Red Dead, but in GTA, I don't know, man. What they did to Johnny was like, ugh. So bad. At least Nico can't be ruined. Agreed. Apparently, Nico is on bad terms with Rockstar because they paid him $100,000, which he didn't like. Uh, yeah, I know, it's like some payment dispute or some crap. Well, is he supposed to be paid more or something? Well, yeah, I mean, he's the voice of, like, Grand Theft Auto, like, the biggest gaming franchise ever. Well, GTA 4, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, that might be something I might stream pretty soon. Actually, is GTA 4. Man, I think uh, I think people would actually like that. It's actually a pretty good idea. Or GTA 5. I might stream them both now that I think about it. <sighs> oh man, I can't believe dude, we got like freaking 50 minutes, and then Wasteland's gonna be airing its finale. My goodness, man. Yeah, I'll be wrapping the stream up in just a second here, guys. Just want to uh, get a bit more uh, minutes in on the stream here. Yeah. We just want to get a bit more minutes. Bit more minutes. Right. Be streaming till the sun comes up. <laughs> ah. <laughs> streaming till the sun comes up. I don't know why I'm singing now. You guys ever just break out a song and get, like, for no reason? Uh, I can't say that I've done that. Ah, uh, I've done that a few times, not gonna lie. John Feynman deserves an Emmy for his performance. I don't know who that is. John Feynman? Ah, uh, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know who it is. Fill us in. <laughs> I exactly. hated Michael's family in GTA 5. Oh, Michael's family are a bunch of pricks. Oh. Friggin' Lori made them look bearable. Or they made late. They. Other way around. Tch. Yeah, they had an interesting story, just didn't know what chapter that is that they shut up. That's Nico's actor. No, I think Nico's actor is, uh, Michael Hollick. Yeah, it is. I'm a Michael Hollick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord, hell. Guys, don't mind me, Mr. Michael Hollick. <laughs> they should make a fear intro where I just scream the tune. Oh, Lord! Please Who don't. said that? Rowdy, I'm assuming? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be like, <laughs> Rowdy just uploads a video of him screaming all of a sudden and be like, what? <laughs> Over the friggin' fear intro. Oh my god. <sighs> friggin' acapella fear intro. <laughs> I should do that, lol. Hey, if you do it, Rowdy, um, you got my support, bud. Yeah. If you do it, Rowdy, I won't be tuning in. Uh, and I'll have Iris on it. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Yeah, so track in those thirsty boys. <laughs> Wait, what? The frig. <laughs> <laughs> By that, I think yeah. you mean the world beyond cast in general. Yeah, for real. Oh my Stagion. god. Man, frickin' Rowdy, if you do that, dude, I will kneel before you. <laughs> oh, Lord. If you do that, Rowdy, I'll kneel Druckman before you. Oh, God. <laughs> friggin' Neil Druckman, uh. He's not that bad guy. He's, not really He's very bad. He, he, he is. But the thing Imagine is, is he wasn't always that bad. 
Imagine blending Neil Druckmann with World Beyond and like, let's see what you get. No, thank you. After this level, guys, I'm gonna uh, call it a stream here. It should be done in just a second. Yeah, Matt, call it a stream. No, oh, man. Never streaming forever. <laughs> it's like some like slogan. Never. It'll just be us till 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll be like, yeah, call the stream. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, don't worry, guys. We'll be going on for another, like, I don't know, 20 days. Be <laughs> shooting streams till the sun comes up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I heard you I heard you were a big fan of Neil Druckmann. Oh, yes. Well, actually, I was, not gonna lie. Frickin' Last of Us 1, Uncharted 4. Man, he's like Gimple. He lost his touch. Yeah, well, Gimple didn't lose his touch that bad. <laughs> Well, not as bad as Neil, yeah. No, Gimple honestly looks like a masterclass writer in comparison. Eh, if, I can't go with that title right now though, dude, because he freaking needs to give us this darn movie already. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna call it a stream here. Thank y'all for tuning in. And, uh, in about 50 minutes, uh, Wasteland Season 3 Finale will be airing. Thank y'all for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, guys, see you in the next one.